Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another reading vlog. I am going to be doing another indie author reading vlog. If you haven't seen my previous two videos, basically I'm spinning a wheel with a bunch of indie authors on it and I'm going to first check out their website, see if they have a reading order and read whatever is first for their reading order. And if they don't have a reading order, I'm just going to read whatever their most popular book is. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel and figure out whose book we're reading today. Okay, so I've started screen recording. Let's spin the wheel. And we're gonna be reading Julie Ann. I have actually read a bunch of books by Julie Ann. She was one of the first books, uh, authors I read anything by on Kindle Unlimited once I found Kindle Unlimited. So I love her books. I'm not sure what her most popular book is. It might be one that I've already read. And I also don't know if she ha has a reading order. If not, I have not been sticking to it. But let's go figure out what I'm reading by her. I'm going on her Instagram because I find that's the best way to find their website. Okay, so she has a publication order on, on her website, but I don't think it's a specific reading order. So let's go figure out what her most popular book is. The nice thing about Julianne is that most of her books are standalones too. So I hopefully will be reading a standalone. Actually, I'm going to do this on the computer because I can sort by popularity rather than publication order. Okay, this is precarious. This is probably not the best setup that I have going on right now, but it's the best for lighting, so we're going to go with it. Popularity. Okay. So her most popular book is Look the Part, which I have not read, luckily. Let's read the synopsis here. It's got a 4.18, which is really high on Goodreads. Flynn Hopkins finds the perfect tenant to rent the space above his Minneapolis-based law office. All the T's are crossed and, I and I's dotted on Ellen's application. Her references are good and she's easy on the eyes. Until Flynn discovers Ellen Rogers, board-certified music therapist, plays music. Bongos, guitars, singing not Beethoven administrated through noise-canceling headphones. The cutthroat eternity serves up an eviction notice to the bubbly, constantly humming redhead who's too sexy for her own good. But luck is on Ellen's side when Flint's autistic son, Harrison, takes an instant liking to her. A single dad can't compete with guitars and rats. Yes, she has pet, pet rats. This woman, she's annoyingly happy with a constant need to touch him, adjust his tie, button his shirt, invade his face, and mess with his mind. Still, she must go. Their lust-hate relationship escalates into something beautiful and tragic. This sexy romantic comedy explores the things we want, the things we need, and the impossible decisions parents and children make to survive. Okay, well, that sounds really good. Grumpy Sunshine, it sounds like. Sing single Dad. Maybe billionaire or millionaire, potentially, if he's renting this space out. Hate to love, maybe. Okay, well, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go down. I'm not gonna read this right away because I have to finish some other books that I have ongoing, but I wanted to get this intro part filmed. So I will check back in with you once I've started reading it. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm just about to start work, but I want to give you a little update because I did end up starting the book yesterday. I had a lot of time to read, so I finished the other books I had ongoing and started it last night before going to bed. I'm only about 10% in, but so far I'm really liking it. I really like the character dynamics. It's very grumpy sunshine. The bantering is already good. It is also already very sad in true Julianne fashion. I am always sad reading her books and I imagine it'll just get sadder. Um, but I'm I did not see that prologue coming at all. So I'm really curious to learn more about the male main character's backstory. I'm forgetting both of their names right now. So yeah, I'm curious because that prologue I didn't see coming. So, and we didn't get too much information. So I'm very curious about that. I'm curious about what exactly happened. And yeah, I'm, I did not see that coming. 
I did not, especially from just like it, no mention of it in the description that I read yesterday. So yeah, so far I'm only 10% in, but so far I'm enjoying it. Like I, I don't have much to say. Like I don't even think the full setup has even happened yet really, if I'm going to continue to like it, but I'm sure I will because I love Julianne's books, but yeah, so far so good. So it's the next day. I am now like 50% of the way through the book. I was listening to the audio because I, I found out that the audio was included on Audible for if you have a membership. So I've been listening to that this morning while I worked a bit and I am loving it. The dynamic between the two of them is so good and I'm really enjoying like the conflict in it as well because it's not about a miscommunication it's just I don't know I don't know how, how to describe it but it is really well done so far sorry I never updated you last night but I did read up to like a hundred pages in last night like so I was like 25% of the way through and now I'm like a hundred pages I, I've listened to like a hundred pages on audio this morning and it's really good I love the female main character so much I love a good quirky female main character I I don't know what it is but I just I love it and I almost just cried at, at what just happened between them. I don't want to try, I'm gonna try and not spoil this as much as possible. I'll put some spoilers at the end, but until like the very end, I'm not, I'm going to try and make this spoiler free. But I almost just cried because listening to what just happened, because it was just a lot, and, but it was so cute. He did such a like, such a romantic gesture, what he just did, even though it was also kind of kidnapping. <laughs> So, bah. Anyways, it's a beautiful day out today, so I really don't want to be working, but I'm powering through. I've got a lot to do tonight because I've got my book club tomorrow, so I'm hoping that I can finish this book before then. And now that I know that there's an audio, I definitely probably will. Like, I'll probably listen to another 100 or so pages this afternoon while I work, and then hopefully I can finish it uh, when I'm reading tonight on my kindle but I'm really enjoying it like a lot the chemistry in the book is undeniable anyways it's lunchtime so I'm gonna go eat and I, I will talk to you guys later And it was so good. Uh, it was so cute. I didn't cry, which I'm surprised about because I always cry in Julianne's books. But I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I knew it was going to happen. It was definitely pretty predictable, I would say, the plot. Except I didn't see one thing coming. But it was really, really cute. <sighs> I'm going to give you my full thoughts tomorrow morning when I've had time to process it a little bit. But I just wanted to give you a little update because uh, it was so cute and I want to read more books by Julianne now, like right away. This vlog is probably also very short because I have not updated you much, so sorry about that. But I'm going to probably go to bed or find something else to read for a little while. And then, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Sorry if this lighting is terrible, but it's so nice and sunny out. I'm not closing a blind or anything like that. But I wanted to give you my final thoughts on the book and just summarize and wrap this video up. I love this. I don't think it's my favorite Julianne book. I still think For Lucy 
slightly edges this one out because I loved for Lucy all the way up into like the the pro like or the um, epilogue and then something happens in the epilogue that I just didn't like that much so I think that's the only so I think I, that one still edges this one out a little bit more but I really loved Flint I loved his character development and like the stuff he went through is was very sad like you really just feel for him the whole time but obviously my favorite character was Harry or Harrison the son because he just like the he had no filter and it was just so funny a lot of times but also he was just like so sweet and I loved that that was like a major part of the romance because I like when if it's single parent the kid has a role an active role in the relationship you know I also really liked the how the parents had it so the parents had sort of like a role in the in the book they had like quite a few scenes in it so it just sort of felt like it really felt like a family book like a really like it was romance there was a romance but there was also just like a lot about family in, in it and I really liked that it was just and just like with all Julianne books it was very emotional like the entire time I really really liked it the only thing is the only thing that I would have to say is that the plot was very predictable I pretty well knew what was going to happen the whole time but other than that amazing <laughs> also make sure you check the trigger warnings because it jumps right into things but yeah I think that's gonna be the end of this vlog this was again more of a chatty vlog but i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in my next one bye guys way to get a watch you in my life yeah. feel about how